Hello, everyone. Today's topic is going to be Other Comprehensive Income, or OCI. This topic can be quite complex, so we are going to stick to a high-level understanding and a few examples. But before we do, please subscribe so you don't miss any future content, and comment with any questions or topics you want to see covered. Okay, let's start with where OCI is located on the financial statement. Comprehensive income is a more expansive view of the net income. On the income statement, OCI is below the company's normal operations income statement. Therefore, it is our standard net income and OCI that equal our total comprehensive income. Now on the balance sheet, it can be seen under equity. This is where the balance of accumulated other comprehensive income is held and fluctuates from quarter to quarter till those amounts are realized. Okay, so what exactly is other comprehensive income? OCI, in its simplest understanding, is just an accounting mechanism to include revenues, expenses, gains, and losses within the financial statements that have not been realized yet. An easy example of this would be an investment where those gains or losses have not been realized through a sale yet, but fair value has changed. So let's look at what the entries would look like. So let's say you bought an investment for $1,000. Your entries would be a debit to investment and a credit to cash. Then let's say your investment went up in value $100. Now your entry would be a debit to investment for $100 and a credit to OCI gain. Now this amount will show up below net income in the comprehensive income statement, but it will be transferred to the balance sheet separate from retained earnings in a balance sheet account called accumulated OCI. Okay, let's say another quarter, another increase, this time for $400. Those entries look the exact same, debit investment and credit OCI. Now let's say you sell the asset shortly after that next quarter for $1,500. Therefore, your entries are a debit to cash for $1,500 and a credit to investment. Then we need to transfer our unrealized gains in accumulated OCI to retained earnings, now that those gains have been realized. That entry is a debit to AOCI for $500 and a credit to retained earnings. Other common examples of items that are typically within OCI are derivatives and pension funds as they change in value, as well as foreign currency gains and losses that are unrealized on a company's assets and liabilities. Another topic we briefly want to touch on is deferred taxes in relation to OCI. If you want a refresher on deferred tax accounting, check out our video on that topic. Now, typically movements in deferred taxes are charged to tax expense. However, if the movement is related to items being recognized in OCI, then the deferred amount should also be recognized in OCI. So let's stick with our previous example of investment which had a gain of $500. Prior to selling the asset, you would book tax entries as follows, assuming a 20% tax rate. First, a debit against OCI income for $100, which is the $500 times 20%, and a credit to deferred tax liability. You will have to pay this tax on the gain when it is actually realized, and therefore you have deferred this liability till that time. Now, when you sell the asset, your tax entries would be to debit the DTL account and credit taxes payable. Your final entry upon realization is to transfer that accumulated OCI to retained earnings. That would be a debit to retained earnings and a credit to AOCI. So let's wrap up there. Comment with any additional questions you may have and we can expand and help. Please subscribe so you don't miss any new content. All right, folks, thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you can, donate to Patreon. Anything you can give helps to keep the lights on and ensures we can continue to create content. And of course, helps feed FIFO. If you wanna contact us about anything you saw in this video, accounting advice, or ideas for future videos, contact us at patreon.com slash accountingacademy. This video is designed to be illustrative and does not represent an official position. We make no representations, warranties, or guarantees and assume no responsibility for the application of this material. Please seek advice from a competent professional if expert assistance is required.